Penjelasan Hibah Statistika Yang Diterima Pada gambar ini disajikan rencana instruksional Hibah MPNK yang terdiri dari 14 pertemuan. Dari berbagai urut-urutan analisis instruksional tersebut yang perlu diperhatikan adalah panah ke atas, panah ke samping, dan panah gabungan. Berikut ini merupakan rencana pembelajaran selama 14 pertemuan. Proses penyusunan Tim penyusun hibah MPNK Statistika adalah Poro Adi Bowo, Ana Widi Astuti, Tohir Diman, Dwi Agung Nugroho, dan M. Yunis Edward. Proses penyusunan hibah MPNK ini dilakukan secara modular. Have you explored modular building? Kemudian berikutnya ini disajikan contoh-contoh animasi statistik yang nantinya akan di kerjakan di MPNK statistika ini. Like this one, which would be the line obtained for the entire population of men from which we've sampled. And at any particular dosage, 20 milliliters per day, say, the population mean new follicle count equals this, the value of the line at x equal 20. Since we're letting this line represent means of y, new follicle counts, we have to be careful with the interpretation of the a and b model coefficients. While a is generally the value of y when x equals zero, here we must specify that it's the mean of y when x equals zero. We need to estimate a and b. Well, a sensible approach would be to estimate a and b from the line that fits our scatter plot best. And the standard way to define a best fit in our setting is called least squares. The least squares regression line is the line that minimizes the squared vertical differences between y and the line. Squared vertical differences, as in the square of the length of all these red line segments. If the line doesn't fit well, like this, say, the squared differences will add up to a big number. Comes out to about 2839 here. What we'd like to do is find the line that corresponds to the smallest possible sum of squares. Turns out it's the one we started with, with a sum of squares value of about 554. Software-software yang diperlukan untuk mengerjakan hibah MPNK statistika ini adalah 